Hello, and I'm Kevin from Redefy Entertainment, and get ready for our new series, Chromebook Teardown. Each episode, we're going to be taking a look at a different Chromebook, taking a look at, well, how it matches up compared to the rest, its specs, its ports, and its internals. So let's get into it. Okay, so now we're going to be taking a look at these two Asus Chromebooks here. These are the C202SA. They're the same Chromebook, they just have different colors. This one is the one available to the public for you to buy, and this one is the school variant that only schools can buy in bulk. So, with that out of the way, this is more of our general what we have here. This is your normal 11-inch screen display, a more uh, normal-sized keyboard with the trackpad that you're going to see usually throughout a lot of these Chromebooks in this 11-inch range. So, these Chromebooks here have a 1.6 gigahertz Intel Celeron processor. They've also got 4 gigs of RAM, just like our other one, and 16 gigs of storage, again, just like our previous Asus. These, though, have a 1366 by 768 uh, screen. So, they go down in quality and they are not touched, just like the rest that I'll be going over here. This uh, Chromebook also has a USB 3 port, a full-size SD card port, a headphone microphone jack, a full-size HDMI port, another USB port, it's proprietary power in Asus again, but this is more of your barrel jack, so you'll probably find it at uh, a resale store if you need more of the power bricks if you lose yours. So what we're going to do now is open the one that most people can get up. As you can see here, we do have a shell that just goes on them for protection for, you know, uh, for kids when they drop them. They uh, help a bit, but I wouldn't say they help too much. But here we go. We're going to open this up. You can see it does fold back 180 degrees. So it can fold flat. We have our nice uh, Phillips screwdriver here. And there's one thing that we'll want is a uh, flathead to be able to go in and pick these little covers out um, to get the screen off. So as you can see, there's one cover and this second one here. And we've transitioned back over here to our Phillips and just take these two screws out. And then we should be able to take this bezel out, four more screws, and you'll have the screen out. The bezel just comes off like this. But actually, once we get this top off, what we'll want to do is uh, take our little flat head again and just come underneath this around this edge and start prying up as... There we go. This piece comes out. I've actually had a lot of problems of this piece just falling out on kids' Chromebooks after a while because the snaps, I guess, just get weak and they no longer stay. So we have a ton of them that are just taped. But there we go. Once we get this, hold it up, put it out, and there's the screen and webcam, all easy to replace. Just four more screws and the screen will come out. The one difference between this screen and our other Chromebooks that are in the 11 inch size screens, they all have the same connector. But this one has the tabs on the tops and bottom to have it removed and out. That's where its supports are. Whereas my other ones that we have here are actually on the sides. So you want to be careful when ordering replacement screens for this device. But other than that, the screen comes out with four more screws and you've got it out. The next thing is that this bottom uh, case. Well, actually, the bottom doesn't come off on this one. The keyboard does. We just have to remove all these screws around the edge, and we'll have it. Now that we have all these screws loosened up, we can tilt this over, being careful of all of our screws that are now coming out. And here we go. What I prefer to do, usually, is to come around here by the hinge, as it's one of the easiest places to pry up. And on the other side, 
and usually I'd probably take a plastic tool to come around this edge. And as you do, you just pry up. It will take a bit of force, but you do want to be careful that you got all the screws out of the back, because that would be a shame if you ripped one of the standoffs off. But then this keyboard comes out. We have two ribbon cables to undo, one for the keyboard and one for the trackpad here. And then there we go. The keyboard is out of this. The trackpad is replaceable, separate of the keyboard. And as we can see, we have our uh, power in here from the battery. We've got a separate Wi-Fi chip, so that's replaceable if it goes bad. We've got our main motherboard uh, with everything soldered on, of course. We've got our LCD connector, our speakers come out, and we've got this daughter board. So it's uh, fairly easy to replace a bunch of this stuff and uh, then check if things are wrong. The one thing that I do have a gripe about with this is that as you can see this battery has tabs that cover up over the motherboard so if you want to take the motherboard out you do have to take the battery out first which is good though because remember to always unplug the battery first when you're working on one of these devices anyway that's a quick look at the inside and how to fix some of the stuff inside here so i will see you in the next one Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Remember to follow us on social media and check out our website. The link's in the description below. And if you liked, please hit that button. If you disliked, you know where that button is. And be sure to get subscribed.